In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a drip email freebie in Podia and also how all the email features work in Podia. Now, what is a drip email freebie? So I have this free wedding invitation design crash course, and it is a free course that they can sign up for here on my website. Uh, we now have over 2,500 <laughs> alumni that have taken this course, and it's seven days where they get an email every day to their inbox all about wedding invitation design. And then I use this on the back end uh, to get people on my email list. I use it as a funnel to some of my products and I'm going to eventually kind of use those people to hopefully build out uh, my courses and membership and other types of uh, products that I sell. So I'm going to show you how you would set something like that up in Podia and I'm sure there's so many creative ideas you have about how you can use this in your business. Podia has a lot of features besides email that I'll kind of touch on at the end, but I want to show you how to get started. And if you use my affiliate link, you can start an email plan with up to 100 subscribers and do everything we're going to do here for free with absolutely no time limit. So until you have over 100 subscribers, you don't have to upgrade. If you already have any audience members or email subscribers, you can set them up here in the audience tab. Um, so you can either go to everyone and add someone like one at a time. If you only have one or two people to add, you can click add person. Or if you want to import from another place, you can do import. When you click new import, it'll walk you through the steps very easily. So when you click prepare import, um, it's going to show you exactly how to set up your CSV file. So you want a column with email, first name, last name, and then any tags that you are importing. So you can see over here, I'm importing some tags for the, whether the person is in stationary, more general graphic design, or painting so that I can use that to segment them when I send emails. Now, when I view my audience, I will see everyone that I had on that import they will be automatically subscribed and then they will have those tags that are available. So I could filter people um, by how they are tagged. So let's see, graphic design. And this is gonna show me everyone that was tagged with graphic design. Then when I'm ready to send an email, I can click on email and a broadcast is going to be basically a singular email and a campaign is going to be anything more than that. So we'll do a campaign for our drip course. So I'm gonna click start campaign and then they always have these really helpful tutorials if you get lost, um, but I'm gonna walk you through this. So we'll say seven day invitation design crash course and we'll choose our from, so mine is gonna come from Lainey. You'll be able to set up your custom domain as the sender here. Mine is just still validating here on my demo account. And I love that you can set up these entrance and exit conditions. You'll see a few different options. Uh, whenever someone's added to audience, this would be great for any kind of onboarding campaign that goes to everyone. You can have this on the tail end of a different campaign. You can have this after they've purchased a product or added a tag, for instance. For this one, since we're gonna have a form for them to fill out, we'll say that as soon as they are tagged with our email form, that is when they become part of this sequence. An exit condition allows them to stop receiving these emails if they take a certain action. So of course, if they unsubscribe or if they receive the final email, um, but also if they were to, for instance, sign up for a product or get tagged with something else, then you can remove them from this sequence in case it gets repetitive. Now we're going to set up all of our different emails just by clicking new email. First, we're gonna set how quickly we want this email to send. If you set it to zero, it will send immediately when they enter that campaign. So we want day one to send pretty immediately. And our subject line is going to be day one. Our subject line will be day one pieces of the imitation suite. And then you can use your preview text to show what's going to show in the email. You can also just use the first line of the email if you want. I have all my emails typed up right here. So I'm just going to use kind of the first line, but not the hey, hi, hello part. And let that trail off. Now we have a lot of pre-made templates that you can see are really beautiful, or you can start with something simple. I also love that you can go to your previous emails. So if you've done some editing and made some formatting changes, you can just use that as a template. I like to keep my emails really simple, to be honest, because I'm focused on value as opposed to um, some of the flash, but these are all really beautiful and still really easy to read. So you can do whatever you want. But let's start with a simple one, just in case. For this email, you can set a lot of global styles here, which is great, especially if you want to use this email as a template in future. 
So I'm not going to change any of my colors. I like to keep it simple as mentioned, um, but let me change uh, the typeface just so that we can use this in future. Um, let's use, let's just use um, something that looks really different. I'm going to use this Rubik so that you can see that it looks really different. Um, and then you can change like your headings. Maybe you want to be something a little bit different. Mary Weather is actually one of my brand fonts. So we'll use that for our headings. And then you can change uh, like any kind of button. I'm gonna want to be in my branding color. And I'm gonna want some rounded corners cause that's good for my brand. So now we'll insert our text in here. I'm just gonna copy and paste that from my Google document. And as you can see, our font is matching the one that we selected. This one is not because it's kind of viewed as normal text when I copy and pasted it in. So if you're doing something like that, you might wanna change it to a heading. And as you can see, when I do that, it does change to the paragraph heading. So this is something that I could have done in the Google Doc when I'm copying it over, but when you're copying from a different system, um, it's really easy to do that, but you might still have to get a little bit of formatting in here. And then instead of this XOXO Laney, I'm gonna use an image that I have. So we have this section right here and we have a plus sign and there's all these different things you can add when you do the plus sign, buttons, files, columns, dividers, all kinds of things. Let's just add an image in here. So we'll choose our image. I'm gonna use this XOXO Laney transparent and then we wanna make it a lot smaller and do a right alignment just so it looks like I'm signing off that email here. So of course there's lots of different things you can do. There's all these different global design features and then there's all these other things here, but I like to keep my emails really, really simple. So at this point we are pretty much ready to go. We'll click done and go to our next email, which is going to be after the other one. So if I go done, finish later, we will see our existing email is right here, ready to go. And our second one is ready to edit. So here's that example of if we have previous emails, we can use those as a template. And then all of those global design features that we change will still be in here. So we'll use that one as a template and we want this to be one day. So as a reminder, this is days after entering the campaign. It's not days after the last email. So we want to make sure that one's in on zero. This one will send on one. Now I'm going to go through and speed this up, but I'll copy all the other emails in here for you. All right, now we have our full email campaign as a drip and you can see which day everything is sending on. So we have day zero, one, two, three, four all the way to six. What's cool about a course like this though is it's automatically going to send these things after a certain amount of days. So you can use this to funnel people into other things. So on our seventh day, we give them a week long code that will get them 10% off our largest course. So then I'm always going to remind them a little bit later that, hey, you still have that discount code, it's ready to go. So in that case, we're gonna need a new email, but we have to do a little bit of math to decide how late we want this to send. So seven days would be the day after they received that other course. We can go up to seven days from this date. So I'm gonna send this on day 12 and I'll put a catchy little title here. It's almost time. And I've got that follow up right here. put our teaser in. I didn't want you to miss out and just kind of reminding them that they have a 10% discount on our resource shop. And today is the last day to use that. One thing you'll see in this email is this hi first name. This is the code that's needed to input the contact's first name from my old email system. Uh, but in Podia, we'll use insert personalization and we'll change that to first name. This is a great way to make your emails feel personalized and people are more likely to read emails that are addressed directly to them. So now we can click done and finish later. And now our campaign is fully set up. We can see all of the different emails here. And so anytime someone 
is tagged with this email form tag, they will be automatically added to the campaign and this will immediately start. Now, if you're still working on your campaign, you can absolutely do that, click done and finish later. But then when it is ready to go active, you'll just click run and then your campaign will start to be active. It will tell you how many subscribers are already in your campaign. And luckily we don't have any right now because we haven't set up the form. Now you'll be able to see all the analytics related to your campaign, including the how many times it was sent, um, their, your open and click rates, et cetera. Um, and then you can actually edit your campaign by just clicking pause and then editing it if you want to change anything. Now, the last step to this is making sure your form is live so people can sign up for your course. So we'll click on site and you want to edit your site. And there's a lot you can do here on Podia, but I just want to keep it really simple. So let's start with our email lander. And I'm going to select this cute little pink and purple color scheme, but you can always edit that later. So an email landing page is basically a simple page that just collects emails from your audience. This website builder is very similar to their email builder. So you'll see these familiar pluses and you can see all the different things that you can add here. So the form is already going to be on here. And then when you click on this individual block, you can change all the different things that you have here. So this might be where we put some of this information about the course. We have 2,500 alumni at this point. Um, take a course and You'll be able to edit everything about this button, insert all that text that you want here, as well as changing up the design. So as an example, we can change our corners to that more rounded look. That is more consistent with my brand. You'll be able to change all your colors, etc., as well. And then in the content, you can say tag subscribers. So you can add a new tag saying um, invitation design crash course. If you want to eventually segment these people out, if this is the only form that you're using, we'll just have them tagged as email form, which was how we were starting this campaign in the first place. And then from here, we will want to uh, publish this site. Of course, you can add a lot more information to it using these plus buttons and all the different blocks that we have here. So let's view it. Beautiful. And then we have this form and this link that anyone can use to sign up. And I love that it's just mynamepodia.com. Now the key to building your email list is going to be just sharing this link with people, sharing this course that you've created, uh, drip content, getting them really excited to continue learning from you. Podia has a ton of different features outside of email, but I think it's a really good place to get started in Podia. You also can build a full website and have a community for your students here on Podia as well. Everything that I've done today can be done on Podia's free account. I'll put a link to the in the description of this video. And as you can see, you get the full website and community. You can do one downloadable product, one coaching product, and you can even draft some things that you might be interested in doing in future when you're not quite ready. So as long as you have fewer than 100 subscribers on your form, you can stay on this free plan. And then it starts building from there, even starting at $4 a month. So what I love about Podia is you can really build up to what you need. Maybe this $59 a month is a little bit stressful right now and you're not quite ready um, to have your full website, your email marketing, all of your digital products, your full audience community, etc. cetera. Um, but if you're ready to start with the email marketing, it's a really good entry point into Podia. And I hope that seeing my drip course for invitation design gave you some ideas of how you can adapt this lesson in your industry because these can be so so powerful and i've added over 2,000 people to my email list with this course alone so let me know what questions you have about email campaigns in podia and if you'd like me to explore any of these other features in podia just let me know i would be happy to do so